Hey guys, it's Friday, and Shane, I'm glad to hear you like fun, because they're really good. Um, I think they only came out with one CD, um, so this would be their second CD that's coming out soon. Um, I think they're actually coming around me soon, maybe in April, so I might go see them if it's not already sold out. Um... I saw them open for Janelle Monet. They were really good. They sound just like they do on the CD. They're they're really good. Um, man, there's a lot of snow by you. My gosh, that must be cool. Unless it happens to snow all the time, then it must get a bit annoying. <laughs> um, it kind of snows a lot where I am too. It's not there's not a lot of snow as there is near you, but it just rains and snows a lot, and it's cold. Yeah. Well, um, to answer your question, Shane, about The Fault in Our Stars uh, movie, um, I don't know who should play the part. I don't know if they should make it into a movie. <laughs> I think that they, John Green should have just said, Nerdfighters, make this movie. Where we would have gotten the money and equipment from, I don't know, but yeah, I think the Nerd Fighters would make a better movie than Fox, who canceled Firefly. Come on, was it the same Fox? Fox two thousand? I don't know. Still, Fox canceled Firefly. What's up with that? So, um, I just I don't really know many actors and actresses. I just know that it might be a bit difficult to pick such young actors and actresses to play these parts because Hazel and Augustus, they're like, they're dealing with being on the verge of like death all the time and they have to act older and a bit wiser and smarter than their age really is, yet they have to also act their age. I mean, Hazel always makes time to watch America's Next Top Model and Augustus likes to play video games, so they've got to find time to do that. And so, so they have to like represent someone older and then still yet a kid. It who they crack jokes all these time too, all these like really smart jokes. So you have a kid who has cancer and could die at any moment, and maybe not any moment, but anyway. They're, they're dying, pretty much. Um, they have to be smart, like to read, um, and yet they still have to act like kids. It, it can be a bit difficult. Um, yeah, so um, that's all I really have to talk about. Oh, do you guys watch Rhett and Ling? They're doing, like, they have been doing this um, morning show every day of the week, except Saturday and Sunday, but um, if they're on, like, their 20 something episode. It's pretty entertaining, um, their shows. Um, they do, like, um, funny things in the news. Like, the last, one of the past episodes was a woman robbed a place with her son using a curling iron. She was pretending to use the curling iron as a gun. I think she only got like $200, but um, still, it's a bit funny. They picked out like this funny article with this uh, guy's name, Bizdow, Bibbidi, Bop, 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 or something. <laughs> like someone actually made that their name, really. <laughs> yes, yeah, so um, I suggest watching that if you don't watch it, because they're, they're just tons of fun. They're just full of it. So... I guess that's all I've got to say. I hope everybody has a good weekend, and I will see you all next week. Bye!